my god! Put it on a clip! Kindergarten, babies activities, activity center. What? <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Where is that? No! That shit looks so scuffed. It sounds fire though, it's like an accent. This is just one of my favorite libraries banks out of every single VST, every type of bank out there. Like, it's literally amazing. Session Horns is trash compared to this library. I think it's better than any contact, e-piano, keyscape, whatever. I bet a lot of people watch this video, wasn't using Falcon before, and gonna get it right now because they realize how great the sounds in it are. What's good with y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I will show y'all my five favorite Falcon banks, or most underrated Falcon banks. If y'all not hit the Falcon yet, definitely get hit. It's just a better contact with less options, like less libraries available, but the quality of the sounds and the libraries is so much better than in contact. Like, if you don't got Falcon, get hit right now. If y'all do, let me get straight to it. Now the first library I will show y'all today is probably the most known library out of this video but also by far the best one. This is just one of my favorite libraries banks out of every single VST, every type of bank out there. Like it's literally amazing. It's Toy Suite by UAV themselves. We got a lot of fun stuff in here, but also some very usable stuff. I mean, everything is usable, but... Yeah, we'll see what I mean. Like some stuff is just like... Funny, like that. For example, going with these bells right here. Oh my god! First on a clip! I hope y'all can hear how good the quality of these sounds are. Just quality wise, like, I don't know how they do it because these libraries aren't like that big. They like, I think, 8 gigabytes or something for just the whole thing. And they just sound so good. It's crazy. Let's go to pads. Oh! These are literally the best sounds I've ever used. Like, this is by far my favorite library in Falcon. Sexy phone. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Let me stop doing But that was only the 8 bit synth section. If we go into the acoustic section right here, we got some whole other sounds. Like,. And we got some fun sounds as well, like this one, for example. What the hell? <laughs> Where is that? No! That shit looks so scuffed. It sounds fire though, it's like an accent. Kindergarten, babies activities, activity center. What? <laughs> this is so funny. And if we change the articulation to this. <laughs> I don't want to do this no more. Got the yellow bear club. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it just has a lot of fun sounds, a lot of very usable sounds as well. Then we got this electric section, basically the same thing. This has like toy instruments. And in this folder, the instruments don't sound really good off rip. Like they just sound exactly like the things they're sampled from. But. If you just put a little bit of reverb or maybe, you know, turn up the release a little bit. Turn the sustain down, like play with the attack case sustain release. You can already make it sound a lot better. Now, there's way too much in this library to cover all in this video, but... If you just click through folders, you will just find gems on gems on gems. Alright, so next up, we got my favorite trumpet slash horn sounds. I used to use session horns in contact, but this library is worlds apart from session horns. Like, session horns is trash compared to this library. I always get what I want. Simple and easy to use. We have a flugelhorn, 
trombone and trumpet. Let's select this flugelhorn first. And our brave just sound so good. Then you got these three knobs right here, and with those you can easily manipulate the sound to your liking, like. But if that's not enough for you, you also got a lot of presets right here. And then, this is one of the coolest features of this library. You got this virtual space right here, you can select the stereo with, and like the microphones and stuff. But the best thing is, you can click on one of these stands, and it already puts the sound where you want it to be in the mix. You don't have to use the imager or nothing. Let's go to this trombone next. Again, sounds amazing off rip. hella cool. You got like slide notes but in trumpet form right? Let's go to the trumpet. Uh, <laughs> I hope y'all see why I think this is way better than session horns. But let's go from my favorite horns trumpet library to my favorite e-piano library. I think it's better than any contact e-piano, Keyscape, whatever. Obviously every library has its use cases, but I just love how this e-piano library sounds. It's called FN Pines. I got these folders right here, single e-pianos, and then those combis that just sound crazy. But let's go through these first. So amazing, like it just sounds so realistic too, like It also has like pad and bell sounds I don't know how to explain the quality of the sounds. They just sound like they have some soul in it. Let's go to some layered sounds. Amazing. Like, I didn't even thought that was possible because I always thought like contact had the highest quality sounds. No. Fuck, like, it literally, like. I didn't know that was possible, honestly. Now next up, we got Doglight 2 from all UAV libraries. This and Toy Suite are my favorite ones. As some of y'all maybe see by this interface, this library is modeled after the CMI, which most of y'all probably know from Analog Lab or Arturia. It doesn't have that many options than, for example, the Arturia emulation, but first of all, it sounds way better. And second of all, you have way more than enough presets to go through, so. Sounds so good again, like amazing library, not much more to say to it. Let's get to the last library of today's video. This library is called Mellow, which again has less controls, but sounds way better than the Atuya version, for example. As I can see, we only have 12 presets. So that's really not a lot. Obviously, for everybody who knows Mellotron, you know, you can switch between free sounds. So you basically got free presets per preset, I guess. <laughs> Like, 
I, I hope you can hear how amazing just the texture and the overall like sampling of this Mellotron emulation is. Like listen to the background noises and sounds. Sounds so amazing, like it's insane. Like that's pretty much it for this video. Hope I was able to put y'all onto some new fucking banks or just Falcon in general. I bet a lot of people watch this video wasn't using Falcon before and gonna get it right now because they realize how great the sounds in it are. Y'all know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on notifications so y'all don't miss videos like this. Really let me know in the comments though if y'all want me to show more Falcon Banks in the future. Check out my Altman of One Analog Lab Bank that dropped recently. If you haven't seen the preview, make sure y'all check it out right here. With that being said, hope you're having an amazing day. Use these libraries to make some crazy samples, and I'm out.